Revelation 4305. From the 19th of May 1948. Prayer for Poor Souls. Souls in darkness suffer terribly. Their strength is depleted, it is a state of utter hopelessness as long as they don't know about the strength of love, which can lighten their fate. They wander around, their will is lethargic, and they will remain in this agonizing state for an extremely long time if they do not receive help through prayer. You humans on earth are able to help them if you lovingly remember such poor souls and would like to ease their plight. For only love will give them strength. A prayer without love is worthless, it is a mere formality without effect. Only the degree of love determines the amount of strength they will receive. And thus you have to visualize the fate of these poor souls and know that they will beseech you to give them strength once they have felt the strength of love. They depend on your help as long as they are still in the abyss, as long as they cannot increase their strength themselves through knowledge, which, in the beyond, consists of loving actions for other needy souls. Every kind, compassionate thought for those souls eases their plight, they feel this and then remain close to you. They ask for your loving intercession by pushing themselves into your thoughts. Don't forget them, don't turn your thoughts away from them. Give them a loving prayer and thereby help them to ascend. Alleviate their torment and, most of all, demonstrate the power of love to them, so that their love for other distressed souls arises and, by helping these souls, that they can liberate themselves from their own hardship. Their surroundings correspond to the state of their soul, dark and desolate, and when a prayer for these souls rises up to God a faint state of twilight occurs which gives the soul a glimmer of recognition and benefits the soul after the constant darkness. The degree of love in the intercession determines the brightness of light emanated into the darkness, and the soul turns towards the ray of light always expecting and pleading for more rays. Grant them their wish, don't leave them alone in their need, and give them the help which you are still able to give to them. But also bring the gospel to them in thought, remind them that they should lovingly consider others in their environment and help them to receive a blessing of light as well by giving to them in turn what they received from you. You can alleviate immeasurable amounts of suffering, you can participate in the redemption of these souls because the gift of strength through your prayer affects their will which then becomes active in the right way. The soul uses the strength it receives to lovingly help other poor souls and it begins its ascent for which it will be eternally grateful to you. Amen.